Look at that. Right over us. Hurry. And look at the pink of the sky. He's headed back. Yeah, he's headed to Benford now. That's it. It's flying right over us. See? Oh, wow. Fire season again, just like last year in August when we had the fire way back over here closer to us this one's farther away but still only 30 to 40 miles away from us and it's raging and it just started a couple days ago so it's kind of concerning it went from like 120 acres to like uh, 6,000 acres overnight and it shows up kind of like right now the smoke's coming this way but all day it was going the other way and it was just blue sky but the first day when it started, people could see it all around the area far away. They could see it blowing up. And everything's dry. We're not to extreme yet, but I would think we'd be extreme soon. We have nothing but hot, dry weather on the way, and we've had nothing but hot, dry weather over 100 degree, 100 degree days. I do not like summer because of fire season now. It's just so concerning for people that live in the woods. <laughs> and it can go from house to house in town too. We got a sprinkler on the roof and a sprinkler over there in the woods and a sprinkler over here in the woods. Beanie, what are you doing? She was wanting outside. And then I have a suitcase packed with stuff, which I need to put that in my car and just leave it in my car. I already have tons of extra supplies in my car and changes of clothes all year long, but I wanted a suitcase full of extra stuff in case I lost everything. I wouldn't have to go shopping right away for some clothes and necessities. Beanie, I love you. You want to go back in? But yeah, you can see the smoke coming up. I hope we get through the rest of summer without anything close to us and or close to anyone else. Just no fires. This was, <clears throat> I think, over in Agnes, um, closer to the Oregon coast, but still 30 to 40 miles away from us straight over. And uh, it started from somebody's cigarette thrown out the window or, oh wait, maybe it was fireworks now that I heard somebody else say, that at first they were saying it was a cigarette, but then fireworks. And they caught the guy. Okay, Beanie, let's go in. And the wind's picking up. We have red flag warning, so that's not good for the fire. Just got to be careful that we don't start anything and report anything really quick if we smell something odd or see a column started. Although the smoke is going to end up in our valley and we'll end up socked in smoke. And then we have had car fires and structure fires. We've had a couple of days apart. There was two uh, fully engulfed um, double wide mobile home fires in the same area, which was kind of odd. And they had a huge response to the first one because it was starting to spread to the wildland a lot. Um, and it went to a second alarm fire calling for resources from out of our county. But Luckily, they've been on it really fast. Okay, goodbye. Here comes a Borade bomber fire plane right over us, headed to the fire. <clears throat> there it is. Man, oh man. Must be kicking up this evening with the wind. And the sun's getting red. Yikes. Another Borade plane just flew over a little bit farther away. There it is. Man. sneak up on you until you get where you hear the noise. And they're sending everything at it tonight. 
It really must be blown up. Right over us. Those are big planes too. Probably uh if we get pulling that floor up, I'll probably get Man. Is that close already? Yeah, just because the sound's so far behind. Hmm. That's how they could do a sneak attack. If it was a fast bomber. Yeah. Well that's like if they're fighter jets, you don't you really hear them until they're this close. Until you're dead? <laughs> of course they're going 100 times a mile. Way faster. Yeah. I know, I wonder how fast these go. Maybe they're not, they're not going wide open. Could any be so. Right over our house. You should fly a drone up there and get closer to the picture. I know, it looks like a drone could be that high. Yeah. Probably not so high. <laughs> I don't know. Because those planes are pretty big. That's true. Mm, now I am. With this, oh yeah. I think I saw a blinking light. The smoke is finally coming our way. The fire's up to, I think, 13,000 acres now from 120 acres on Saturday evening. And now it's Wednesday night. 13,000 acres, no containment, red flag warnings, not good. Fire's been exploding in size and crazy weather, like wind and everything, and heat, and like a high Haynes index or something, which I think is low humidity. Here comes a fire helicopter right now past us, somewhere over here. And the smoke's coming in. Just like August last year, but we had a fire closer, but this fire is only like 30 to 40 miles away from us and it's expanding in all directions.